Hey everybody, Victor Sang here with the uh, cheap Jeep. Today we're working on the starter switch. So what's happening when I turn on my vehicle is go ahead and turn the key. You get sort of a dim light across the dash, but it won't actually kick over, start. Um, it doesn't seem like it's getting power. I went ahead and re replaced the uh, ignition, um, the actual lock and key. Um, and now we go ahead and replace this part right here. It's, uh, I believe, LS699. It's the part number at AutoZone. Um, they're about 35 bucks. So this is the piece right here that we're going to be replacing since the vehicle won't start. The biggest thing to know whenever working on ignition stuff is normally it requires special bits. So these are security torques. So let's see if I can get it. So if you notice, it's kind of a small torque bit, but it's got a uh, hole in the middle of it. And that allows you to get out the screws right there, as you can see. So we'll go ahead and take those off, put them back together. The biggest thing when taking this all apart is the fact, all right, so there's two screws in the front of the bezel. So if this, is, this would sit like this underneath the, the steering wheel. These two screws are in the front of it. And then you've got to go ahead and take off this shroud, which there's just one screw here and one screw on the other side. And then there's another screw up inside of here. So go ahead and take out those. There's three screws that hold this clam shell together. Take those three apart, pop it apart, take this piece off, and you've got access to this right here. So we'll go ahead and replace it and see if that fixes the problem. <laughs> 